Today we're heading to Modern to turn our trash into juggernauts. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another edition of Much Abru About Nothing. And this week, we have a ridiculous modern deck. We are playing Trash for Juggernauts, this weird mono red artifact reanimator deck that's literally trying to turn all of our creatures into juggernauts and use that to win the game. So this deck originally came from a post on r slash magic TCG, where Kalua 7 Seven Seven posted about how they played this deck. Well, they built the deck and then played the deck in a modern challenge on Magic Online and went like five and two or something. They actually had some success with it. And the deck just looked so fun and so ridiculous. I knew we had to give it a try. So big shout out to Kalua777 for originally making the deck. But anyway, let's talk about this deck, the ridiculous plan, what it's trying to do, jump into a modern league, see it in action. Oh yeah, I should also mention, somehow this ended up being maybe the longest modern league I've ever played. So, Buckle up, it is going to be a long one with some really weird, twisted, epic games. So anyway, the plan of our deck, we are a Trash for Treasure reanimator deck. Trash for Treasure, three mana, sack an artifact, reanimate an artifact. And our goal is to use this to reanimate Graz Unstoppable Juggernaut, a huge eight mana, seven, five legendary Juggernaut that essentially turns all of our creatures into literal Juggernauts, five threes that have to attack and can't be blocked by walls. Everyone's all hyped about Atroxa. Oh, Atroxa, reanimate Atroxa. And you're gonna win the game. Well, what if Atrox is not the best reanimation target from Phyrexia All Will Be One? What if the real hero for reanimation is Graz to turn all of our stuff into Juggernauts? So that's our main game plan. Get Graz on the graveyard, flood the board with random creatures, most of them that can get cards in the graveyard, and then reanimate Graz, turn all of our creatures into Juggernauts, smash our opponent to death. If we don't reanimate Graz, we can reanimate Portal to Phyrexia to make our opponent sack stuff, and then maybe reanimate Graz with Portal the next turn, Sundering Titan to blow up some lands. Of course, for this plan, to work, we gotta get Graz and our other big things in the graveyard. So we have a few ways of doing this. One is Goblin Engineer, just two mana, tutor an artifact of our choice into the graveyard. This sets up some pretty explosive nut draws where turn one, we play a random artifact. Turn two, Goblin Engineer to get Graz or Portal or Sundering Titan in the graveyard. Turn three, Trash for Treasure, get back our big thing, win the game. We also have a bunch of creatures that are weirdly synergistic in this deck. So Volgaren Epic, your Scrapwork Mutt, Season Pyromancer, Phyrexian, Phyrexian Dragon Engine, all do two different things in our deck. First, they each have ways of getting cards in the graveyard. Uh, we make blood tokens with Epicure, which we can use to discard a Graz. Scrap work mutt loots when it comes into play. Season Pyromancer or double loots when it comes into play. Or rummages, technically. Phyrexian Dragon Engine, if it comes into play from the graveyard, let's just discard our hand and draw some cards. So these all are ways to get Graz and our other big reanimation targets in the graveyard. They also keep us churning through our deck. More importantly, for Graz to work, for our turn everything into Juggernaut plan to actually be effective, we need bodies on the battlefield. Like, Graz by itself is not going to win the game. It's just a 7-5 ground creature that dies or gets jump blocked. But if we can have a bunch of random small bodies on the battlefield when Graz comes into play, we turn them all into Juggernauts and smash our opponent for the win right away. We also have Ragavan Nimble Pilfer, Experimental Synthesizer. Uh, Ragavan is mostly in the deck because it's busted. Uh, we all know the stupid monkey is one of the best cards in modern, but it does synergize with the deck. It's a one mana way to potentially put an artifact on the battlefield with a treasure token it makes. Experimental Synthesizer, some card draw, also just another turn one artifact to set up trash for treasure. Then we have a Urza Saga package. So our backup plan for winning the game is use Urza Saga to make big constructs, two drop things like Underworld Cookbook, another discard outlet, Pyrite Spellbomb for removal, Shadow Sphere to make our Graz into a huge trampling lifelinker, I guess. Uh, but we can also just win with Urza Saga and random artifacts. Mana base, a little bit weird for modern. Uh, no fetch lands, a bunch of pathways and other dual lands. Sinka is kind of hilarious in this deck. Uh, one of the downsides of Graz is it has to attack each turn, which means our opponent can potentially trade with it in combat but we can use Sinka to give Graz first strike, which makes it much harder for our opponent to actually deal with in combat. Uh, so that's the mana base in the sideboard. A bunch more Urza's Saga tutor targets, Damping Sphere for combos, Defense Grid, Leyline of Sanctity to protect our combo from discarding counters, Blood Moon to get people, Fury for removal. And that is the absurdity of trash for Juggernauts in Modern. That's our Much of Your deck for this week. So let's jump into a Modern League and see, is Graz actually a good reanimation target for Modern? Can Mono Red trash for treasure reanimator actually work in the format what is going on with this ridiculous deck let's find out thanks for watching everyone i hope you enjoy it and i'll be back in a bit for the wrap up need some phyrexia all will be one cards well you can snag them from our sponsor card kingdom over at cardkingdom.com slash mtg goldfish
much brew about nothing time. We are moderning this week. We are trying to uh, turn some trash into juggernauts, and I think we got a mulligan this, unfortunately. One land, and it's an Urza Saga. That's We have a lot of cards that we want, but I don't think we can keep that. One land, and it's still Urza Saga. That's unfortunate. All right, well, this will keep. Season Pyromancer to the bottom, Sundering Titan to the bottom. Well, this is not a good hand, but you never know. You never know. We could make a juggernaut or many juggernauts. Opponent, Blood Fountain, gonna make a blood token. Well, Sinka and uh, Dirty Monkey, go. I mean, at this point, we might not be on the juggernaut plan. We might be on the... We might be on the Portal to Phyrexia plan in case we draw the trash for treasure. Are we getting in an attack with Ragafon? Attack with the Dirty Monkey. Wow. Okay, we get in the hit. We steal Inquisition, which I think is worth casting here. Yeah, let's Inquisition. Huh, definitely worth casting here. Take the Gorio's Vengeance. Play the land. Play a Scrapwork Mutt. Loot away the land. Mm, there's the portal. Okay. Opponent. Gonna do some looting. Sure, sure, sure. Interesting, interesting. Opponent. Urza Saga ticking up. Well, we know they can make an Urza Saga token because they have a million lands. Verdant Catacombs and passes. We kind of want to draw a land now. All right. Copperline Gorge. Go to combat attack. I think we're just going to season Pyromancer discard both. Our somewhat risky Scrap Mutt line might be paying off here. Opponent. Cracks for Catacombs. If they block the Ragavan, we can just give it first strike. I think this is probably worth it. First strike it, kill the construct, pass the turn. That did keep us from doing anything else this turn. Up in it, gonna make a construct. I mean, we know they're playing Gorio's Vengeance, so the question's gonna be, do they find a reanimation target? If they do, we could be in trouble. The other question is, do we find a Trash for Treasure? Like, we in Season Pyromancer, discard, discard. We're not that far away from Trash for Treasuring. Opponent gets a Underworld cookbook. More of the sagas, sure. Our offense is stymied for the time being. Season Pyromancer. Discard, discard. And yeah, I guess we just passed the turn. Well, I mean, we got a target in the graveyard. We got an artifact on the battlefield. Can we find a trash for treasure before our opponent does something busted? Opponent. Oh my God, discards a Troxa. That's a really good draw for our opponent. That might put us dead here, opponent. Oh, if they have another Gorio's Vengeance, we're in trouble. We are in trouble. Bloodstain Mire. Opponent cracks it. Discards a Profane Tutor. As more to tutor up a cookbook. We would love to draw trash for... Tr no. No. Your last card's Gorio's Vengeance? No. No one runs that hot. Okay. Collective Brutality. Essentially whiffs. Underworld... Co okay. Well, we're not dead yet. We can chump block this construct for basically ever. Yeah, we draw Urza Saga. Play Urza Saga. The Juggernaut plan's not going to be great against Asmore. That's for sure. Shadow Sphere doesn't really do much here either. Maybe we get back the Scrapwork Mutt? I mean, this is essentially a race to who finds who finds reanimation first. That is essentially this entire game. Opponent can start sacking food to kill things, which is why Graz isn't going to be good here. It just, it just dies to Asmore. Portal to Frexy, on the other hand, would be ridiculously good. Like that, rasp the board, and we can reanimate our opponent's Atroxa. Goblin Engineer. Also worth mentioning, our opponent. Our opponent's going to be able to get a Shadow Sphere for their construct, which is awkward. Phyrexian Dragon Engine in the graveyard. Oh, do we just scrap work, Mutt? Like purely just to loot? Yeah, looting here seems good. Because if we hit a land, we can get back the... I mean, we want Trash for Treasure, or we want to get back this Dragon Engine to draw some cards. So we'll just discard the Shadow Sphere. We could always get it back with the Engineer anyway. Well, that's a land. We will pass the turn. Scrap Mutt goes away. I mean, so we get the land to get back the Dragon Engine at least. Opponent can make another big construct though and get a Shadow Sphere. And they're still drawing towards the possibility of reanimation for Atroxa, which essentially just wins. Floating for mana is frightening. That means our opponent has something better to do than, oh, they're gonna Brainstone to try to find Gorio's Vengeance. Okay, that's... Not great for us. I wonder if we should play Brainstone. Could be a good one up for Ursa Saga to dig for Trash for Treasure. Are we dead? Did you find Gorio's Vengeance? I mean, if we untap with the Engineer, we can use the Engineer to get back the Dragon Engine for way cheaper than unearthing it. Opponent cracks the fetch land, kills the Engineer, sure. New attacks. 
Den of the Bugbear. Well, tick up Urza Saga. Where is our trash for treasure? Goblin Engineer. Grab something. Yeah, I guess just a scrap work mutt. Play the pathway. Pass the turn. Oh, we're giving our opponent so much time to find Agorio's Vengeance. Although I guess they are giving us so much time to find Trash for Treasure. Who draws it first? Opponent. Passing? Okay, Urza Saga number three. Good God. Uh, Well, we'll make a construct. Opponent. I mean, apparently they didn't find it because they're <laughs> they would have reanimated Atroxa pre-combat. What a weird game. We're both running so awkwardly. Opponent passes. We draw Ragavan. Let's float a mana. Lose Saga. Opponent discards a land. Sure. We will take Haywire Might. Could end up being helpful here. Goblin Engineer. Actually, let's do this properly. Let's play Den of the Bugbear. Goblin Engineer, get back Dragon Engine, sack the Mutt. So discard the Ragavan, draw three. Can we find a Trash for Treasure? Yes, please. Not a Trash for Treasure. Get back Scrap Work Mutt. Oh, over tap a bit. <laughs> discard Copper Light Gorge. Oh, even more lands. Snipe the Urza Saga, pass the turn. Sack the Blood Funnel to get the Atroxa back to hand. They can't cast it though. They can discard it to make another food. That's fine. We've gone 23 cards deep. Opponent's gone 22 cards deep. So far, neither one of us has been able to find our reanimation spell. We can't really attack, right? If we attack with everything, we just lose too much. Yeah, let's just pass. I mean, I guess it's not fully impossible that we just get to eight mana and cast Graz. Come on, no Gorio's Vengeance. Opponent, Profane Tutor. Oh, the clock is definitely on. Passes. Season Pyromancer is not the worst. So we really need to win before this tutor comes down. We draw Voldir and Epicure. Epicure ping ya. Make a blood. Play the land. We still can't really get, can we attack? What happens if we attack here? So if we attack, opponent blocks here, opponent blocks here. They take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I think we, oh, and they can shoot something down, right? So we got to pass. Oh, this is going to be close. Opponent oh, takes down the tutor. So we really need to find a way to do it this turn or the Trox is going to come. Opponent discards a daredevil. All right, so opponent found one of their synergies. Can make a lot of food and discards to make food. So now our opponent can kill two things with Asmore. Oh, and Atrox is coming. Oh, we are fizzling hard here, opponent. Oh, gonna run it out, interesting. Passes, Goblin Engineer, Scrap Work Mutt, Sack Dragon Engine. Come on, Trash for Treasure. Synthesizer, okay. Untap, Engineer, well, play Synthesizer. Loot. What do we exile? Synthesizer. Hmm. So, Goblin Engineer. Get back Dragon Engine. Sack the Synthesizer. Exile Season Pyromancer. Discard that. We have dug so deep without finding this. Yes, discard draw. Oh, this trash for treasure. Okay, trash for treasure. So, Graz dies, so it's got to be Portal. Sack the Blood Token. So, maybe we can win through the Atroxa? Portal comes into play. Opponents got to do what they got to do now. So they can kill two. Wow, they let it go. That's game, right? Oh, they didn't even use their removal. And opponent scoops it. Whoa, opponent scoops it up. Wow. They could have sack food, kill this. Sack food, kill this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, maybe they were still dead. Oh, were they dead even if they killed our two biggest things? Kill this, kill this. Two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow, we stole the Xaxes. That was a slap fight. We got there in the end. What do we want against this deck? Haywire Might seems really good. Pithy Needle seems fine. Soul Guide Lantern seems helpful. Hilariously, it was the Dirty Monkey that won us that game. It was really, it was really the Dirty Monkey yeah, we probably get on Sundering Titan. The Dirty Monkey hitting that um, Inquisition to get rid of the Gorio's Vengeance that let us win. If we didn't hit that, I think our opponent probably ends up winning there. Uh, so we're on the draw. Yeah, we'll go down one Ragavan. Well, we got there that time somehow. I'm very scared of our opponent's deck. Though. That was a Mold of Five too, wasn't it? That, that was actually pretty impressive. I forgot we were on the Mold of Five. Uh, we will keep. How fast is our opponent's hand? Underworld cookbook. I mean, if they just have the, the nut draw, it's real bad for us. Like, we can't really beat 
We well, can't really beat our opponent just discarding an Atroxa here and reanimating it. I mean, I guess maybe we like it is a Gorio's Vengeance, so it's only hitting us once and drawing a bunch of cards. So maybe it's not the end of the world. Maybe we're too scared of Atroxa here. It is only seven. Like opponent gains seven, we take seven, and they draw a bunch of cards. It's not like Grizzlebrand where opponent's gonna just draw their deck and like combo off. So maybe maybe it's fine. I mean, we got the Dirty Monkey. We can blow up the Cookbook once again, looking for reanimation mostly just discards a cookbook that is acceptable. I'm assuming this means they have Asmore. Sure, 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 gets another cookbook. Well, this is awkward. Opponent passes. Sinka, but our dirty monkey can't get past the Asmore. Well, play the land. I guess we just play Engineer then? Yeah, let's grab Soul Guide Lantern, pass the turn. So opponent probably has to kill the Engineer? Oh boy, Urza Saga off the top. Well, thankfully only two are in play, Blood Fountain passing synthesizer see if this makes our opponent kill the goblin engineer looks like yes yep discards a land gets the food kills the engineer we draw please not trash for treasure here land all right so play the land on green this actually isn't bad we get to play haywire might eat the urza saga gain a couple life and pass the turn. I mean, opponent's got quite a setup. We're not really doing much here, unfortunately. Opponent untaps. Yeah, this is a bad Graz match. Oh my goodness, how do they keep drawing Urza Sagas? <laughs> how? How does this keep happening to us? Oh, we draw a mountain that does pretty much nothing. I guess we play the land and play Frexing Dragon Engine. Pass the turn. Opponent missed a land drop and then top deck two Sagas in a row. That is so brutal. Takes up the saga. Boy, another, wow, that is a lot of lands drawn. Pass. And there's the trash for treasure, but we got nothing in the graveyard at the moment, which is kind of bad. Yeah, maybe we should have gotten something else with the, with the engineer. Well, let's check the synthesizer the old fashioned way. We draw an Epicure. Pathway on red. Play the Epicure Pinya. Go to combat, attack with the dragon engine. The problem is this Asmore can just shoot down our Graz. Opponent gonna make a huge thing. We'd rather have the dragon engine in the graveyard at this point. Opponent blocks with a construct. Pass the turn. So opponent can probably get graveyard hate with the Urza Saga. What a weird matchup. We might have made a mistake by going for the Soul Guide Lantern. We did make our opponent shoot down the Goblin Engineer, which I guess is good, but the removal is just so repeatable. Opponent not going to make a construct, just going to tutor up an artifact, which is Nile Spellbomb. All right, so graveyard unlocked for the time being. And opponent discards Agoria's Vengeance to draw a card and sex denial spell bomb wow okay i mean this is actually kind of good for us it does get rid of our only graveyard hate but it also means the nile spell bombs off the table gonna draw a card exile our graveyard yeah i guess i want to get rid of the frexian dragon engine passing discard the graz draw a card Ugh, more lands into even more lands oh boy well mountain pass the turn if they have the dragster Discards a bone shards. Well, not a dragster at least. Opponent untaps. Discards a Troxa. They probably have Gorio's Vengeance. Yeah, all right. That didn't feel great. That did not feel great. Is Fable the Mirror Breaker just better in this deck than like Season Pyromancer? It makes artifacts. That seems like a big upside compared to Season Pyromancer. Like, I guess Season Pyromancer, the upside is it immediately can put three bodies on the battlefield. We are going to try. I mean, we have turn one Dirty Monkey. We only have one land. But turn one Dirty Monkey on the play, hopefully it gets in a hit. We got the Trash for Treasure this game too, and the Engineer. Like, this is kind of everything we want. Should we should we be able to hit enough land drops to actually do it? Blood Fountain. Ooh, and we draw the land too? That's pretty excellent. Well, go to combat. Get in with the Dirty Monkey. Hopefully exile something good. Well, I'm glad that's exiled. We will just let that stay in exile. Play the land. Play the engineer. Is this Graz's time to shine? Do we do we actually go for the Graz? I mean, Portal's probably better. Yeah, we just can't be Asmore. I think we gotta go. I think we gotta go Portal. Yeah, pass the turn. We don't have it. We need one more land. We need one more land because we can't trash for treasure off the treasure and sack the treasure. Found it, Urza Saga. Nile Spellbomb. So opponent can nuke the portal. Ooh, and a thought seize. Okay, okay. So opponent's got it all. Takes the trash for treasure. Kind of a weird choice considering they already have graveyard hate, but okay. Well, there's Graz. Hit you with the monkey. Get a treasure. Exile a land. Haywire might. 
Exile the Urza Saga. Yeah, I think we just pass. Pass and leave up the ability to Goblin Engineer. And discards. Atroxa. Finds an Asmore. Oh dear. Okay. Things are getting sketchy. Opponent Underworld Cookbook. So this means Atroxa could be coming next turn for sure. Synthesizer. Well, we'll play the Synthesizer. And we can't get through the Asmore again. That's actually a pretty good one. Yes, we will cast Soul Guide Lantern. Thank you, Magic Gods. Yeah, that was a, that was a good draw. <laughs> good job, Experimental Synthesizer. Snipe the Atroxa. Okay, now we also have Graveyard Hate, which is huge. So Atroxa's down. How do we get through an Asmore, though? Let's play an Epicure. Make a Blood past the Tur. We would like to get back the Haywire Bite, but if we do, our opponent can just exile with Nihil Spell Bomb. Opponent Blood. Stain Meyer. Underworld Cookbook. I mean, I guess we could play Asmore in this deck. I wonder if this deck would be better as an Asmore deck. So many possibilities for Graz. Opponent Profane, Tutor Suspended. So opponent has no food currently. We're probably gonna sack this Synthesizer and try to get back Haywire Might and make our opponent use the Spell Bomb. We draw Ragavan, Goblin Engineer. Go for the Haywire Might, sack the Synthesizer. At least if our opponent exiles the Graveyard, they don't get to draw a card here. They don't have the mana. All right, opponent is going to exile the graveyard, sure. So we got through the graveyard day. Opponent can't draw a card. We still get Experimental Synthesizer, which is, ooh, another Engineer. Uh, So one and two, Goblin Engineer. Grab, honestly, it's probably Synthesizer here. Yeah, let's take Synthesizer. Very awkward, but I think this is right, so we can just start looping to draw cards and like hit our land drops and whatnot. We don't have Trash for Treasure. We don't actually have the mana to cast Trash for Treasure, even if we drew it. Opponent. Yeah, I think this is good enough to do it. So opponent gets a food, we nuke the graveyard. They do have a Profane Tutor, which is frightening. Like if they have another Atrox in hand, although I guess we can get back the Soul Guide Lantern. This is, what an interesting game. Discards a bone shard, makes a food. We draw a synthesizer. Well, play a synthesizer. Would like to just hit a land here. That would be that would be fine. All right, we hit a land. Land on red. Oh, we still can't really attack. How do we beat an Asmore? So opponents gets to tutor this turn. Yeah, I mean, I guess we just pass. See what our opponent tutors up. I mean, so we can use engineer to get back Soul Guide Lantern. Opponent's gonna kill an engineer, so in response, engineer, sack the blood token, get back soul guide lantern, exile the bone shards, pass the turn. Well, let's see what they can tutor up. They might not be able to get anything that good since we have graveyard hate. I wonder if they just have to tutor up like an Urzo Saga or something. Yeah, Asmore's ability just to keep sniping stuff makes Cross so hard. So hard to actually do anything with it. Even if we could reanimate it, they're just gonna snipe it. For two decks trying to reanimate huge things on turn two or turn three, this has been the like longest, grindiest reanimator mirror I've ever played. Like normally reanimator, big things just happen super quickly, but like they're Asmore shutting down our beatdown plan plan and shutting down Graz, our graveyard hate and tutoring is shutting down their reanimation plan. So it is, it is a, it is a slap fight at this point. This whole match is, oh, it has been such a slap fight. Neither deck is really doing what they want to be doing. All right, opponent tutors up something. Maybe it really was Urza Saga. Plays Urza Saga. I wish we could just kill Asmore, but apparently that's impossible. Passes. A land. Goblin engineer for experimental synthesizer. Sacking experimental synthesizer. We do have a nice little card advantage. Ooh, that's actually sweet. That's actually really good. We hit our Pithing Needle, which is huge, and a Scrapwork Mutt. Well, that might go to waste. Uh, we gotta play the Pithing Needle. Pithing Needle. Opponent's gonna discard a Cookbook. I think we actually just name Asmore, though. Like, they can keep making food. If we get rid of the Asmore, if we get rid of the Asmore, we actually have a legit plan for reanimating this Graz in winning. Underworld Cookbook. Plus we have Underworld Cookbook now. I mean, hilariously, hilariously, if we find a Trash for Treasure and reanimate Graz, we should just win now, I think. Pass the turn, although our opponent's gonna get to start making big Saga tokens. Untaps, we lose our scrap work mutt. But the removal's offline, finally. My god, the Asmore removal, so annoying. What a strange game. Opponent, passing. We draw land, well, Goblin Engineer, Synthesizer, sack the Synthesizer. We're gonna keep doing this to draw cards. Oh, there's, there's Trash for Treasure. 
That's a trash for treasure. We draw another scrap work mutt. So, Underworld Cookbook, discard Graz. We're finally making juggernauts. Get a food, trash for treasure, the Graz. Actually, let's, let's play the land. Trash for treasure, get back Graz, sack the food. Now we got some juggernauts. It took a while, but we found the line. Do some attacking. Opponent's gonna make a dork, but we're still big enough, right? Yes. And we got another Ragavan. Is Gras better than Atroxa? Is it just the better reanimation target? <laughs> Opponent blocks a Ragavan, blocks the Epicure. Well, uh, we have a replacement Ragavan. I feel like we're in pretty good shape. Play replacement Ragavan. Pass the turn. I mean, I guess our opponent can potentially tutor up Haywire Might, but that kind of hit Graz though, right? Haywire Might's only non-creature artifacts. Opponent, construct. Are we gonna win this? Beating a Droxa? All right, there's a Haywire Might. We thought that was a possibility. Unfortunately, our opponent does not have any walls. Passing. Play a Synthesizer. Ooh, Haywire Might, interesting. Play a Haywire Might. That's actually pretty big because it shrinks this construct. Do we just attack with everything? I kind of like this Engineer. Oh, but they can discard a card to make a food. Oh, so they can kill the Graz? And we can't stop that? All right, let's Goblin Engineer for a Synthesizer. Sacking a Synthesizer. Hit a Mountain. A pathway. Play the mountain. Go to combat. Do some attacking. This does let our opponent kill our Graz, which is annoying. If they sack the Haywire Might, though. Okay, gonna hit the Soul Guide Lantern. Do we exile the graveyard or. Okay, so I think what we do is Haywire Might go after the cookbook. Discards an Asmore to make a food. Cookbook dies. Oh, this lets us keep our Graz, doesn't it? And then we can sack the Soul Guide Lantern to get rid of our opponent's graveyard. Board is somewhat clear past the turn. So now our opponent needs Discard Outlet plus Atroxa plus Gorio's Vengeance. That's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff. And we got to keep our Juggernaut alive. Oh, we're doing it. Wow, what a game. Opponent, Haywire hey, Might. Okay, that's a, that's a good card. Passing. We don't quite have lethal yet, although Season Pyromancer is pretty sweet. Season Pyromancer, draw a couple cards. Well, go to combat, do some attacking. Here comes the Juggernauts. Here comes the Juggernauts. Fatal pushes the Ragavan. Yep, and blocks the Graz, sacks to get rid of the Pithy Needle, yep. We play Urza Saga, and another Season Pyromancer, and draw a couple cards, and pass the turn. I mean, we are presenting lethal, Juggernaut lethal. Did we get there in the longest reanimator match in the history of Magic? About it, Juggernauts? Oh, we got the GG's. Pona says that was super, uh, so cool games, and I totally agree. Like, normally I think of reanimator mirrors as being kind of boring, and it's just who high rolls into the faster reanimation spell. This was really interesting, and we proved once and for all that, uh, that Gras is strictly better than Atroxa, uh, move over, move over Atroxa. There is a new reanimation target in modern Juggernauts. <laughs> Sweet. Much brew about nothing time. We are doing some juggernauting in, well, we're gonna keep this, in modern this week. Seeing if we can uh, reanimate some grazes and turn, oh no. Chancellor of the Annex revealed. This means our opponent's doing something degenerate. We might just play Haywire Might and let it get countered. Yeah, I think that's probably correct. Play land on red, Haywire Might gets countered by Chancellor of the Annex of all things. You usually only see Chancellor if something degenerate's happening. It's like, protect myself for a turn from discard so I can try to win the game. Really though, you don't see it much in modern. It's more of a legacy, a legacy trick. Oh, it's Belcher. Okay, I have literally no idea what our opponent's doing. I have no idea. Chancellor of the Annex into Esper Sentinel. Well, we are going to run out a scrap work mutt and discard a portal to Phyrexia. Oh boy, we could really use a red source. Getting to this season Pyromancer would be very, oh, I, I am so confused. Huh? Is this just, Mono white humans playing Chancellor of the Annex? That is the craziest thing I've ever seen. Red mana. Well, Synthesizer, okay. I mean, we're gonna play it and pay the one and really hope to hit a land here. Come on deck. 
Oh, Raghavan. All right, well, that's not ideal. Where be the lands? Opponent, Cavern of So- I'm blown away. Chancellor of the Dross and mono white humans. Opponent passes, red mana. <laughs> we really need a land. We've drawn all of our big stuff. If we get to the season, Firemancer, our hand is hopefully unlocked. Okay, Voldaren Epicure. Not exactly what we were looking for, but we will take it and we can sack the blood token to discard the Sundering Titan and see if we can hit a land, which we can't, and pass the turn. Oh no, 13 cards deep, still two lands. If we don't start drawing stuff, our opponent's just gonna hard kill. This is an elemental? What is happening? Opponent, champion. Why did they? Oh my God, I'm so confused. This time on human? Did they just set that on elemental for the memes? I'm so, so confused. Land, red mana. We need the, ah, oh, finally. Okay, pathway on red. That's what we are looking for. Season pyromancer. No mana tithe mana available. Uh, discard, discard. Hit a million Ragavans. Yeah, I don't think we attack. Let's just pass. Is our opponent gonna hard cast this Chancellor the Annex and beat us with that? For some reason, that's not feeling impossible at the moment. Fires up the Muta Vault and Thalia's Lieutenant. This really is just humans playing Chancellor the Annex. All right, sure. Trash for treasure would be a very good draw. Well, let's see how our opponent attacks. Swings and swings and swings. Block. Yeah, seems worth it. All right, so we lose our board. Our opponent loses those two very big champion of the parishes. Oh my, what is happening? <laughs> what is happening? Is this a real, is this a real thing? Opponent, Solitude, pitching the Chancellor to blow out our blocks. Weirdest humans deck I have ever seen. Okay, our board is Wrathed. Uh, trash for treasure, please. Scrappy. Uh, one, two, three, season Pyromancer. Discard a Ragavan and a Scrap Work Mutt. So many Ragavans. Play the land, play the Ragavan. And pass the tur. I mean, we can block for a while, I guess. That's something. Block and block. Better not be another Solitude, I swear, opponent. All right, that is another Solitude. Yeah. Okay, there goes our board again. Opponent. Graz. Two. Get back a Scrap Work Mutt. Discard the Graz. One, two, get back the scrap work mutt. Discard the dragon engine. All right, that's a trash for treasure. We'll see if it's fast enough. Our opponent has a pretty, pretty good attack here. We are at 21 though. Once we get down the portal, we're gonna stop a lot of this aggression. Well, we will just chump and take a big hit. I mean, hopefully this trash for treasure is good enough. Opponent passes. Well, here goes nothing. Trash for treasure. Portal to Phyrexia. Sack the Synthesizer. We can't pay the two, so opponent does get to draw a card. However, we get a portal to Phyrexia to wrath our opponent's board. They get to keep a thing. They're gonna fire up the Muta Vault, sure. I mean, they need to answer this portal or kill us because this portal can get back the Solitude and then it can get back the Graz. And at some point it can get back the, it might get the Dragon Engine first actually just to draw cards. I, we might be good. We might've made, wow, what a weird build of humans. What are we sacking? I mean, they could have Lauren or something. It's not impossible. An opponent scoops it up. Yes, okay. Is this a real deck? Is there really a Chancellor of, Chancellor of the Annex in Modern? I mean, I'm sure there's some user decks. Mono White Humans, oh wait, there is. I just haven't played against it. Shining Shoal, Chancellor of the Annex, Solitude. That is a wild deck, but it is it is apparently a thing that people are doing. Well, it's the first time we played against that. Uh, Fury seems pretty good here. Let's bring in Furies. Blood Moon, no. Leyline, no. Defense Grid, no, 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 no. That might be it. Going down Sundering Titan. Opponent only playing, so I'm not gonna blow up much. Shadow Sphere seems fine. Can maybe go down Haywire Might? I don't think Haywire Might. Assuming they're just playing this, this list, it doesn't look like it has any meaningful targets. So go down Hay Haywire Might. Yeah, maybe just one Ragavan. Ragavan's gonna, we're on the draw and Ragavan's gonna get blocked four days in this matchup. All right, all right, all right. Opponent, again, Chancellor the Annex. Pass it. Well, play the Mountain. I mean, I guess we can just wait and play around this, right? The question is, is there a chance we need to Pyrite Spell Bomb and activate it next turn? Yeah, I think we gotta just play into it. All right, Volnaren well, Epicure gets countered. There are things our opponent could play. This is like a mana type that people expect <laughs> because it's, you can see it sitting there but champion of that perished passing 
We could dash Ragavan. We can also just kill the champion, play Urza Saga, get a trigger, play Pyrite Spellbomb, and pass the turn. Oh, this Urza Saga might actually be bad here. Adele. Well, we definitely have to kill the champion of the Parish. What we'd really love to draw is just a red source, I think. That would be the best. Yeah, well, that's a red source. All right, so take up the Urza Saga. Play the Mountain. Season Pyromancer. Discard a Trash for Treasure. Discard a Ragavan. Make a board pass the turn. Goes to combat. Okay, we're in okay shape. We have nothing to get back at the moment, but... And we are going to lose this Urza Saga, but... Wow, no attacks. Okay. Esper Sentinel, sure, 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 grows the champion. I mean, we probably make a construct. Ooh, we draw Season Pyromancer. Hmm. Make a construct. Lose the Urza Saga. Underworld Cookbook. Play the land. Play Wilder and Epicure. Well, now we mostly need something to reanimate. That's what we're missing at the moment, is something to reanimate. We have the discard outlet. Attacks. Makes a token. Well, I mean, we are going to double block. If our opponent does solitude stuff, I think we're we're kind of okay with that. Ooh, opponent's just gonna let it go. They must have another Adeline in hand. That would make sense. Adeline returns. Well, this is a window. If we can draw, we have the trash for treasure. We got the artifacts. If we can draw a reanimation target, we draw land. Well, I mean, I guess, do we want to play synthesizer? We'd have to pay the one. I guess it's probably better just to season pyromancer. We can just do this, discard synthesizer and land. I think this is fine. That's a Graz. So we would like to run our opponent out of cards, but Graz is pretty decent. Pass the turn. The problem is Solitude. Like, Solitude exiling Graz would be annoying, but there's a world where we just win with Juggernauts as soon as next turn. We know one of our opponent's cards is a Chancellor. Opponent combat. Attacks, attacks. Makes a token. Grows the champion of the perished. Yeah, let's try to kill the Adeline, I guess. Could we win here? We can't quite win. Yeah, I think we got a block. Just lets it go. We drop to 14. Another Adeline. I think it's Graz time. We draw a pathway. There's an Esper Sentinel. So let's Underworld Cookbook. Discard Graz. Go to our second main phase. Because we don't want to have to attack this turn. Uh, trash for treasure. Graz. Sack the food. All right. Well, there's the Juggernauts. We got the Juggernauts. Can our opponent answer it? Do they have the Solitude or something else? If so, then we're kind of in a bad spot. Opponent passes. Sinka's actually kind of sweet here. Play Sinka. Go to combat. Swing with everything. We have to swing with everything. We can give the Graz first strike, which is actually kind of hilarious. We know one of our opponent's cards is still that Chancellor. Is this going to work? Oh, opponent has a Jano. Oh, we could have given it first strike too. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is kind of awkward. Season Pyromancer draws some cards. Opponent does have a big scary board. Wow. We could have actually played around that, I guess. Well, it's another trash for treasure though. Goblin Engineer. Snag a portal to Phyrexia. And uh, yeah, pass the turn. Well, we will see. We just gotta stay alive. And we should be able to stay alive. Bono's got Chancellor of the Annex and whatever they do for the turn. They can't play Chancellor of the Annex. We found another trash for treasure. Opponent fires up Muta Vault, goes to combat. Gonna do some attacking. Wow, swings with everything. Makes a token, grows the champion. Block and block. Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's fine. Block and block. Get rid of the Esper Sentinel. Opponent passes. I think Graz did its work. We're going to do this the boring way. Trash for treasure. Portal. Sack the blood. And opponent scoops it up. And that is, that is Juggernauts taking down the wild human deck. It's working. It doesn't seem like it should work, but it is working. Also, the new take on humans is wild. Chancellor of the Annex is not something I expected to see in modern, but eh, sweet, 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 sweet. <laughs> Juggernauts. Much brew about nothing time. We are juggernauting in modern this week. Playing some grass up against Abash. We're on the play. We can turn one Ragavan. I mean, I guess we try it. Could use some filtering to get these, these big finishers into our graveyard. But I mean, the upside of just turn one Ragavan on the play is probably enough. I mean, opponent can just kill it, but... Then that's taking their first turn. Oh, poo. If we get in a hit with it, then that's pretty wonderful.
Do we have a bolt? I mean, if they play their own creature, I guess that's kind of fine. They'll just end up trading most likely. And, all right, there's the bolt. Ragamon down. Well, that's fine. We didn't want the stupid monkey anyway. These eight drops. Need to find a way to get those out of our hand. Land would actually be fine here. This Slagwood Bridge is a little awkward. Eh, tap land and go. Scrap or Mutt's not the worst. That is a way we can discard one of these, assuming it resolves. Plays a land passes. Still wouldn't mind drawing lands. This could get countered. All right, we do draw the land. We probably wait one more turn to synthesizer. Play the land. Scrap work Mutt. Loot away Sundering Titan. And pass the turn. Sundering Titan might just be better than Gras here. I wonder what our opponent's doing. Ob's, uh, Abash and Izzet's a little, a little bit weird. Don't usually see what Ob's and Izzet that much. Fable of a Mia break, huh? That is a good one. Still not sure, like, I still feel like this could be worth it in our deck. I don't know, it's worse with Graz. Better with Trash for Treasure compared to Season Pyromancer. Opponent. Passing. Goblin Engineer. Well, let's synthesize her. We could just hit Trash for Treasure. That would be really good here. Trash for Treasure for the pseudo win. Sundering Titan here would be absurd. Well, okay, Epic here's fine. Play an Epic here, get a Blood Token ping, yeah. Well, we found ways to get the eight drops out of our hand at least. Play the land, run out a Goblin Engineer. What are we tutoring up is the real question. Uh, yes, we will tutor. Actually, Frexing Dragon Engine seems really good. Let's take, let's take the Dragon Engine. If Engineer lives, we can, uh, do it for one mana. If it doesn't live, then we're only one land away from just unearthing it. All right, opponent gonna do Fable stuff. We're not really scared of Blood Moon. <laughs> if our opponent's trying to do Blood Moon things, that's kind of fine. Ragavan March of Other, oh, so they're like Jes Jeskai Abash. Interesting. Fury, well board dealt with and our opponent gets to make a treasure yeah that's a that's a pretty bad turn for us really fury's a very good card opponent gets in treasure hits us elish norn that's actually it's actually a problem uh, come to think of it yeah that actually just kind of shuts us down doesn't it well uh let's draw trash for treasure that's still what we want blood token discard graz Draw Besaju. Play Goblin Engineer. Yeah, I, I don't know if we can beat an Elish Norn. I don't know if we can we beat an Elish Norn bear? What do you think? I don't know. Has anyone ever beat an Elish Norn? <laughs> About it. They shuts down all of our ETBs, and our deck actually has a lot of ETBs, and we do not have a way to kill this easily. Oh, we don't have a way to kill it at all. It shuts down Portal too. Oh no. Bad news. Opponent. Reflections of Kiki Jiki. Oh no, we did not come prepared for mom. Although honestly, if we're gonna lose, like I'm kinda okay with losing to Elish Norn. Out of all the things we could lose to, that is the one I'm happiest about, I guess, if I'm ever happy about losing. All right, opponent gets in, it's us. We will take six, makes a treasure. I mean, I guess we're just hoping this engineer can sack the synthesizer. All right, are we gonna do sweet panharmonic on things? Fable the Mirror Breaker. That doesn't even work with Elish Norn, but okay. We need a miracle at this point. Oh yeah, our deck is not built with Elish Norn in mind. Oh no! Oh god, okay, Season Pyromancer. That works with Elish Norn. Opponent draws two, then discards the two that they drew to make some tokens and draws two more. Abash Jeskai Elish Norn. Busted. At this point, even Trash for Treasure I don't think matters. <laughs> Like, our best card is not good enough anymore. All right, Goblin Engineer. We're gonna get back. Oh, very sad. Frexian Dragon Engine. Sacrifice the Synthesizer. We hit a Ragavan, and we will scoop it up. Oh, no, we, we just, we can't beat Elish Norn. Do we bring in Furies? Is Fury even worth it? What do we do about an Elish Norn? I mean, I guess Fury's something. I guess we just hope they don't find Elish Norn. If they don't find Elish Norn, we have a... We have a shot. I guess we can try to win with Urza Saga. That actually might be the most, sadly, the most realistic plan. Yeah, I mean, we might be on the Urza Saga plan if Elish Norn shows up. Graz actually works through Elish Norn, sort of. Sundering Titan would have been good if we got it down fast enough. Portal. Maybe Portal's not worth it in Elish Norn world. Yeah, let's go down Portal. That's probably our worst reanimation target. They also got a lot of token production. And then maybe just do some trimming, I guess? One mutt. One epic here. I don't even know if Fury's that good, honestly, here. Maybe we go two Furies. Yeah, let's go two Mites. Try it like that. We get to play first. Oh, well, I guess if we're gonna get wrecked, 
Might as well be by Elish Norn. This is the the Ragavan and Prey hand. I mean, it's good if we draw lands. I think we just mulligan. I don't think it's worth risking it. Well, other than having this Slagwood Bridge, this is kind of our, our dream draw. So we'll put a Synthesizer to the bottom. All right, we'll see what our opponent can do. So in theory, assuming we hit one more land, Voldaren Epicure makes a blood token, Goblin Engineer puts something in the graveyard, Trash for Treasure, win the game. That's the theory, at least. We do need to draw an untapped land because of this Slagwood Bridge. Slagwood Bridge is kind of like Dryad Arbor. We never, we never really want to draw it. It's kind of in our deck to like tutor up with Goblin Engineer when we're when we're desperate. All right, well, we'll do an epic here. Get it down before Elish Norn stops it. Pass the turn. Could also have uh, counter spells. They do have blue mana, although they can't play actual counter spell, right? Because of Abash. Could have like Archmage's Charm. I guess the other question is, what are we putting in the graveyard? That is a land pathway on red. Goblin Engineer. I mean, it's probably Sundering Titan, I think. Graz, yeah, I think we gotta take Sundering Titan. Graz would be sweet, but Graz also can just die. Well, I mean, this is, this is basically it. We got the Sundering Titan. We got the Trash for Treasure. This is about as fast as one of our draws can be, honestly, for reanimating something. Kills the Engineer. That's actually fine. Okay, Sacred Foundry also works. Sacred Foundry trapped. Well, hopefully nothing goes horribly wrong. Like, Force and Negation would make me very sad, but otherwise... Otherwise, I think this just wins. Why is there an upkeep stop set? Yeah, I mean, Players of Saga. Trash for Treasure. Sundering Titan. Sagging the Blood Token. Oh my god, it resolved. Uh, blow up both of your lands. Hit you for one. Well, I guess the way we beat an Elish Norn is just, uh, it's just Sundering Titan on turn three. Elish Norn, not as good if you can't cast it. Opponent down to 17. Okay, that was, that was pretty sweet. Turn three Sundering Titan's not bad. Opponent aired Mesa. I mean, they could definitely have, like, Solitude to kill it. And then we don't have much of a clock. I guess we can start making Constructs. If we turn three Sundering Titan and lose, that would be that would be something yep gonna get rid of the sundering titan i guess it mostly did its job we go up to 27 nothing to blow up opponent passes oh another is a saga so if we play this we make a token this ticks up the question is do we play another saga this turn so if we play saga next turn we can't double token right we can only make one well get in with that pick here yeah, let's wait one more turn. Let's get the artifact land out of our hand. Pass the turn. I mean, we're we're on the construct plan. Opponent cracks Aired Mason down to 15. Go, go, Urza Saga. Opponent shouldn't be able to do much here, right? They, they're an Abash deck, so they have no two drops. Prismatic ending the Epicure. Yeah, that's, that is acceptable. No land, that is the Sundering Titan power. Well, make a construct, untap. Yeah, Urza Saga is a busted card. Ooh, we draw an engineer. Well, uh, okay, make a construct. Pyrite spell bomb. Play an Urza Saga. Play a goblin engineer. Tutor up Graz this time, I think. Yeah, let's get Graz. Hit you for four. I mean, there's no way they're gonna recover from this. I don't think there's any chance. It looks like, it looks like Sentry Titan blowing up uh, those two lands is gonna be enough. Yeah, opponent scoops it up, okay. I mean, I guess that's the plan. We just gotta, we just gotta do something big before the Elish Norn can actually come down. Let's do that again. That was our, that was our most explosive game yet. Stack's actually pretty sweet. We're on the draw, which is a bit scary. It's a lot of, that's a lot of lands. One of them is an Urza Saga, but still. Yeah, I think we got a mulligan that. Well, sure, we will keep Synthesizer to the bottom. Well, I mean, we got Trash for Treasure and Graz. That's about it. Relic of Progenitus. Well, that's gonna make the Trash for Treasure plan difficult. Uh, well, Pathway and Pyrite Spell Bomb. I mean, we do have some answers for it in our deck that we could draw. We need a, we need a Haywire Might. Oh yeah, Sand's kind of doing nothing now. I don't know, uh, a fast Graz probably isn't that good against our opponent's deck anyway, since we know they're built around Solitudes. Plays a land in passes. Well, Copperline, Gorge, and Shadow Sphere. And we might actually sag this spell bomb to draw a card because we're not doing much at the moment. Oh yeah, this is this is not good because we know the Alice Norn's gonna come eventually, and then our life becomes impossible. Opponent Aired Mesa cracks it. I mean, if they play Fable, yeah. Oh, this is not great. Well, I mean, I guess we gotta kill it. Unfortunately. Yeah, I can't have our opponent treasuring into Alice Norn. Opponent passes. We need we need a season Pyromancer basically. <laughs> Sundering Titan. 
Land go. We're seeing the downside of filling our deck with eight drops. I wonder how many Norns are playing. I wonder if this is actually like an Elish Norn deck or if they're just kind of playing one as like a free roll because it works well with uh, what they're doing. Oh yeah, our hand is very, very, very bad against this Relic of Rojet it is. <laughs> Opponent, sure, do some looting. I wish we were looting. Discard, so two lands. I wonder if there's a way we can just play Fable and Season Pyromancer, maybe that. I don't know what I'd cut though. Oh boy, all right, land number four. That means Elish Norn could be next turn, and this is gonna flip. Big draw, big draw. Well, Synthesizer's okay. That is a redraw at least. And an artifact on the battlefield, Epicure. Well, play the Epicure. Play the land. Yeah, I guess we just pass. All right, well, let's see if they have Norn. Hopefully the answer is no. Opponent untaps, flips their fable. Pretty good with uh, Elish Norn and Evoke Elementals. Opponent, land number five. Is there a Norn? Oh God, looks like yes. Okay. Don't think we can win from here. This is this is one of those examples of Elish Norn just being like absurdly good against a deck. Oh, another trash for treasure. <laughs> oh, it would be good if there wasn't a relic and also an Elish Norn. Ragavan, eh? Yeah, we're in we're in full-on desperation mode here. Sack the synthesizer. Maybe our deck wants a removal spell for Elish Norn. Underworld cookbook. We play the cookbook, pass the turn. Yeah, we just like literally do not have a way to answer Elish Norn. And we don't really have a realistic way of winning through an Elish Norn. I mean, this is kind of what we talked about during spoiler season. The Elish Norn Modern, it's really hard to kill. And yes, in some matchups, the Torpor effect doesn't do much, but in some matchups, it's like literally game game ending. Worst case, a 4-7 is actually a pretty big body. Like this is this is our spoiler season prophecies coming coming true. Except we're not the one playing Elish Norn. Yeah, now anything our opponent does is just gonna be absurd. Okay, Exiles the Graveyard, sure, 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 sure. I mean, even if we get down Graz, our team is just gonna chump attack into Elish Norn. I, and this actually just does it. GG. Well, apparently Juggernaut's more powerful than everything in Modern, except for, for Elish Norn. <laughs> well, that was brutal. Much brew about nothing time. We are mulliganing juggernauting we were trying to uh trying to win with juggernauts in modern hey barbie how are you show them how big you are yeah a little bit further this way people want to see you there there's you are a little bit yeah are you a good boy bubby yes you are <laughs> yeah all right, we gotta keep this end. We do need to find a way to get things in the graveyard but we can put a synthesizer to the bottom we got dirty monkey for turn one I mean, we have the trash for treasure, so if we can find a way to get our things in the graveyard, big, exciting things can happen. Oh my god, it's Tron. No big deal. Tron, easy, easy mode. Well, we should be able to get in the monkey hit, right? We draw a land. Well, get in with the dirty monkey. Oh no. They actually have an answer? They got dismember? Oh no. Okay, we do not get in with the dirty monkey. I mean, I guess we start doing Urza Saga things? Tron keeping seven is scary. Uh, Shadow Sphere and go. Oh, we really wanted that monkey hit. Black Tron, eh? Is this Chalice? Chalice on one. Well, go, go, Urza Saga. Portal to Phyrexia. I mean, that'll be good once we get in the graveyard, which probably a bit away. Red for now. Pass the turn. Mono Black Eldrazi Tron, interesting. Mana Reshaper, okay, I'm a little bit less scared then if this is Eldrazi Tron. Eldrazi Tron equals not shook. All right, make a construct, untap. Draw a Copper Line Gorge, make a construct. Underworld Cookbook, play a Copper Line Gorge. I think we wait one turn, next turn. Next turn's a big turn. We don't want our opponent to draw into a Thought Not Seer basically, so we don't want to give them the free card this turn. We really need to trash for treasure this portal and then we should be good. Karn's Silex. It's gonna be hard for our opponent to pay enough to get rid of a portal to Phyrexia, so I think this is kind of, well, unless they hit Tron. Well, Underworld Cookbook, discard portal to Phyrexia, untap. Well, one, two, three, trash for treasure, portal, sack the food. 
Opponent loses a matter reshaper. Basically, we gotta hope they don't free roll into Tron. Okay, just a matter reshaper. Well, I mean, we gotta start attacking, right? I mean, if they free roll into Tron, they could Silex for enough to, to blow up the portal, which would be really bad. Opponent blocks. Otherwise, we're okay, because this portal will just take over the game. No Tron land, no Tron land. That's the one way. Okay, Eldrazi Temple, that's fine. That is fine, player Eldrazi. We will trust that this portal to Phyrexia gets the job done. Uh, it untaps. This is, is a, this is an artifact. It's the one thing that black decks cannot kill. They can get enchantments now, but still have not gotten to the artifact mode. Pwn it. You know, Silex? Sure. I mean, we still got portal though. As long as the portal's okay, we're okay. Thought not here? Oh boy, they ha they found it too, just a turn too late. I mean, reanimating something each turn, how does how does our opponent beat that? They even got to wrath our board, we just got the portal down first. Opponent's also down to 11, which is notable. Dismember life loss, adding up. Take your pick, opponent. Mutt's probably better here. All right, oh. That actually gives our opponent some hope here. Well, portal. Yeah, it does give our opponent hope. Get back, Ragavan. So close and yet so far. Yeah, I mean, this will force our opponent to sack the relic. Scrap work, Mutt. Discard the Sundering Titan. Well, okay, there's Graz. We're kind of doing it. So pass the turn. So this is going to force our opponent to sack the relic because they can't let us reanimate Sundering Titan here. And then we can try to rebuild. I mean, they have to leave up mana for the relic. If we reanimate Sundering Titan, they're done. And then we just got to find a way to discard the Graz. Thinking, thinking, expedition map to get another Tron land. I mean, maybe if they get Tron, Tron, Karn, Exile Portal, that could be a thing. Oh yeah, main deck relic's annoying. We got the super fast portal in it. Wow, opponent is pump faking aggressively. Taps, untaps, taps, untaps, taps, untaps. Cracks the expedition map. Oh, plays a walking ballist, okay. So opponent wants to get more in the graveyard, I guess, before relicking. Kills a Ragavan, sure. And then uses a relic. All right, hits a power plant. Oh, so the portal's gonna do nothing this turn. That's a bummer. Yeah, well, past the turn, oh boy, okay. Okay, how about a season Pyromancer? How about one of those? Or literally any way to get these Grazes in the graveyard. Opponent, going to Expedition Map. I assume for a Tron land. Oh, for a Saga. So that can get more graveyard hate in the future. Oh my goodness. We're gonna have the world's fastest portal and still lose, I think. Expedition Map. Shale is on one. Passes. Oh, we actually want this mutt to die. Come on, deck. Not a one drop. Not not now. All right, Urza Saga. If we're going to draw land, that's one we want to draw. Well, pass the turn. This portal's doing nothing. Takes up the Saga. Goes to combat. Wow, going to attack. That means they drew graveyard hate, I guess. I mean, we're going to block. Seems like a not great attack unless they drew another. Well, they can't play. They can't even play Relic. All right, another Thought Nazir to take a Graz. We untap, we get back the Mutt, we loot away the Graz. Although our opponent can get another Relic. Epicure can't cast it. Copperline Gorge, take up the Saga. Play the Copperline Gorge past the Tur. Wow, this is gonna be interesting. I thought that this portal was gonna win us this game, but our opponent's graveyard hate is making it tricky. Construct, untaps. Well, we'll see if they got another relic. If they don't have another relic, things are fine-ish. Okay, Saga makes a construct or not, makes a construct. All right, opponent figuring out how to tap their lands, makes a construct. Well, let's see what they get. I'm imagining it's Relic of Progenitus, but you never know. Yeah, gets another relic. Eats the Graz. Well, let's see how our opponent attacks here. Interesting, big attack. Well, one, two, make a construct. Hopefully they don't have another dismember. That would be the worst. Double block a thought nas here. Okay, that works. Stuff dies. This is gonna make our opponent sack the relic, I think. Ooh, Season Pyromancer is actually very nice here. That is, that is a good one. We drop to 11, matter reshaper. And, okay, just sacks the relic right away. Exiles the graveyards. Oh, I don't know if we can stabilize here or not. So we untap. 
We draw trash for treasure. How can we do this without dying? Do we not make a construct? I think we actually have to not make a construct. I think we have to float for mana. This is awkward, but I think it's what we have to do. We float for mana. We let this saga go away. Tutor up a pyrite spell bomb. Actually, do we need the might? Yeah, I guess we gotta get might. All right, tutor up the haywire might. Season pyromancer. Loot away some cards, make some dorks. Ooh, and a double season Pyromancer. Okay, pass the turn. Oh, this has not been easy, but I think we're okay. Do we need to kill this expedition map now? Yeah, uh, we probably need the blocker. All right, pass the turn. This does let our opponent get another Urza Saga, but if they get another Urza Saga, we can, we can blow it up. Urza's mine. So opponent's gonna be able to assemble Tron. Six manas. Another Walking Ballista. We're almost dead, but not quite. We can just barely survive this turn, I think. And now we gotta hope that the portal is is enough. Gonna ping the Haywire Might. Okay, so we will get rid of the expedition map. Gain a couple life. So we're up to 13. Opponent pings a token. Attacks with everything. Maybe we should kill the Mattery Shaper. Kill the Mattery Shaper, take eight? Yeah, that makes the most sense. So stuff dies. Mattery Shaper, we drop to five. Wow, they're missing Tron land. Actually going to kill us. Wow! Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, now we, now we lose. There's just no way, right, that we can win because they can just put all the counters on this walking ballista. They spun into Tron. Yeah, I don't think there's, I don't think there's any way we win. Well, apparently Portal to Frexia is not actually that good. Oh no! I guess on one hand it was kind of unfortunate that our opponent uh, is playing a bunch of main deck graveyard hate. We had a very fast Portal to Frexia and we did not win. That is, that is discouraging. That is discouraging that our deck did its thing and it was not... It was not enough to matter in the end. Hmm, Graz. I mean, we never got the Graz, but yeah, I mean, I guess we just chalked that up to unfortunate circumstances more than anything. And then, I mean, also, I think we could have stabilized there at the end if our opponent hadn't, hadn't randomly spun into a... Uh, into Tron there, which that was kind of the final nail in the coffin, so to speak. Once they spun into that, then, then things were just over. We bring in a couple Furies, we go down a Synthesizer, maybe a Haywire Might. How do we find room for all this? Although that gets Chalice. Chalice isn't even that good against us, honestly, but definitely bringing in the two Blood Moons. Yeah, I guess we just got one more Epic here, run it like that. Portal to Phyrexia, not impressive. Nine mana artifact, not good enough, or even especially close to good enough. We got the Trash for Treasure, we got Nothing to do with it, though. If we draw something big, we can scrap work mutt to get it in the graveyard and get it back. We do have Blood Moon now, which is good. Plus our opponent's Eldrazi Tron, so. Wow, opponent's aggressively mulliganing. Down to five, keep keep going, keep going, Tron. Down to the Bugbear and Haywire Might, go. Urza's Power Plant and Expedition Map. Well, we might have to kill that. I assume a big part of our opponent's plan is Oh no. Oh, that's the wrong one. That's awkward. Well, get in with Haywire Might. Why are we playing the, why is the white pathway in this deck? Wait, do we even have any white cards? I'm so confused. Deck builder, what are we, what are, oh. Pfft. We're playing pathways in case we want to hard cast Leyline of Sanctity. Now we have some useless white mana. I guess we just play Scrap Work Mutt. Discard the cookbook, pass the turn, but now our opponent gets to Expedition Map for Tron. Eh, Aldrazi Temple. Matter Reshaper. Opponent passes. Could use something big to discard to the Season Pyromancer. Voldaren Epica. Well, um, play Copper Line Gorge. Season Pyromancer. Discard, discard. Well, there's the portal. Should we be able to get it in the graveyard? Get in, hit ya. Opponent. Yeah, these pathways I don't think are worth it. Especially in a deck playing Blood Moons. Does not seem worth it. The odds of, like, we haven't brought in Leyline once. I think the odds of actually bringing in Leyline are small enough that it's just not worth the effort. Getting in with Matter Reshaper. We will take it. Opponent passes. How about a looting effect to get Portal in the graveyard? Green manas. Well, go to combat. Opponent takes it. And yeah, we are gonna do this now. Haywire Might, get rid of the expedition map. 
gain a bit of life, play the mountain, pass the turn. Yeah, we might have punted this game a little bit. Maybe we should have held on to the Underworld cookbook for another way to discard stuff. Getting frisky. Well, we'll take it. Ooh, opponent hits a Tron land. Walking Ballista. Opponent passes. Now play the land. Dash Ragavan. Go to combat. Do some attacking. I mean, if we make enough treasures, all right, opponent's going to cash in the Ballista to kill the Ragavan. All right, pass the turn. See what our opponent has. Thought Not Seer is still scary. Although I feel like our opponent, if they had it, they would have played it last turn, so they'd have to top deck it. Opponent, combat. We will block with this Mutt now. Opponent attacks. Well, block with just the Mutt. We need it in the graveyard. Drop to 10. Opponent gets a, come on, no whammies. Okay, another power plant. Well, at least that's a redundant Tron land. Oh no, is it Thought Not? No, 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 no. Okay, Ballista. Okay, just to Ballista. That's fine. Goblin Engineer. Let's scrap work, Mutt. Although our opponent could kill it in response, I think, if they figure this out. Okay, they don't. So, one, two, three. Trash for treasure. Portal to Phyrexia. Sack the Mutt. Oh, we got there. Hopefully. We got to this point last game and still lost. Wrath, you're bored. They do get another matter reshaper trigger. Gonna ping a season Pyromancer. I mean, that's, we don't mind getting that in the graveyard anyway. Ping and ping, sure, sure, sure. Opponent loses Mattery Shaper, draws into, hopefully nothing big. Ugin the Ineffable. That's kind of okay. Hit you with the Elemental. I think that's fine. I think that's fine. The Ugin can't blow up the portal. Opponent doesn't even have the mana for it, really. No, their Urza's mine. We chill with the Ballista's opponent. Ballista X2 passes. We. We'll reanimate a Season Pyromancer. Discard a couple cards. Make some tokens, draw some cards. Ooh, another trash for treasure. Oh, but we don't have an artifact. That's awkward. We'd have to sack the portal. Den of the Bugbear. We have enough lands that if our opponent kills us, we're kind of okay with it here. Go attacking. Make a token. I mean, next turn we should be able to get back Graz and win, right? Juggernaut win? Assuming our opponent doesn't find Graveyard Hate. Oh, they have Dismember? Is that their other card? All right. So opponent dismembers. They can block the token. But we know our opponent's hand is just Ugin the Ineffable, and that Ugin doesn't do much of anything here. Well, we will play Urza's Saga past the turn. Oh, come on. Hold. Hold for the Graz. Hold for the Graz. Opponent. Top deck Tron plays an Ugin. Makes a dork. So we get back Graz. Opponent can snipe things in response. Yeah, it has a counter to Ballista. Wow, opponent's going tricky here. What do they have, Relic? Is Relic the card that they hit off the... Crap, Digger's Cage. Oh my god. They hit a Graph Digger's Cage. Wow. Yeah, that that is actually just game now because of this walking ballista. Everything at Ugin either has to give up the Ugin or give up the Ballista. So I guess it's not necessarily game. So walking Ballista, opponent pings a token. Opponent's just gonna hope to top deck their way through this. We can't even get a Haywire Might. What are the odds? All right, opponent untaps with Tron and a Ugin and the least likely Graph Digger's Cage of all time. About it. All right, well, here comes some Constructs. Make a Construct. Untap. Portal does nothing. The hate, the hate. Oh, we draw another land, well, make a construct. So Pithy Needle shuts down Ugin. Shadow Sphere is more long-term value and it also gets rid of Ugin. Yeah, I think we take Shadow Sphere. Equips to the construct. Construct at Ugin. Token at Ugin. Pyromancer at our opponent. So this kills the Ugin, right? Opponent blocks here, still dies. Attack like that. We'll see what that spirit token's hiding. Opponent blocks season Pyromancer. Gets their Ugin card. Ugin dies. Well, we'll see what our opponent can find. They do have Tron. Uh, play the land. Pass the turn. What do they get? Two cards in hand now. Come on, deck. Come on, deck. We are back up to 15, which is nice. Eh, maybe we should have moved over the Shadow Sphere because of Reality Smasher. Although, that's fine. I don't think our opponent can attack with it anyway, honestly. Oh my... <laughs> Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Do they survive? I think so. Portal does nothing. 
We might be good though, right? They're gonna have to Karn Silex for a ton of mana. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, oh, so close. Uh, so play the land. Everything at our opponent. Drops to three. We pass the turn. So opponent can blow up everything, but they're gonna lose their Graph Digger's Gauge. And that means we're maybe, wait, did they top deck? Jeez, um. Okay, yes, opponent takes our Graz. Okay, so this is starting to get a little absurd. Gonna blow up some stuff. The problem for opponent is if they don't, uh, okay, they're just gonna blow up the tokens and passes. Well, we will season Pyromancer, make some dorks. Do nothing with our portal. Draw trash for treasure, which also does nothing. Equip. Pass the turn. Goes to combat. Passes. We draw. All right, boy. Having this portal do nothing every turn is so sad. Season Pyromancer. That's a good one. Season Pyromancer. Discard, discard. Urza Saga. All right, so opponent needs to draw another sweeper, basically. Or we manage to, we manage to squeeze out the least explosive win ever with this deck. Oh, this match, this match. Yeah, Haywire Mites seeming more and more important. Let's bring in the Haywire Mites. Blood Moon still seems decent. Maybe the Furies aren't worth it? Yeah, let's go down the cookbook and one Ragavan. Let's try it like that. On to game three. I can't believe how grindy the matches are with this deck. Was not expecting that. No trash for treasure, but a reasonable hand. We got a saga. We got some looting effects. Got a tutor. If we can draw a trash for treasure, that would be sweet. Opponent is, I think, skipping their turn accidentally. All right, second main phase. Urza's mine and Relic of Progenitus. Well, there's the trash for treasure. Although the trash for treasure, a little bit worse now. Now that our opponent has the relic out, we know we can't just free roll into the win. Uh, opponent Urza Saga. Mm-hmm. Passing. Play Urza Saga. Play a Scrapwork Mutt. Discard a Graz. Gonna get exiled. And pass the turn. Opponent, gonna eat the Graz, sure, sure, sure. So much graveyard hate. They might just be going on the construct plan here. Takes up the, takes up the Saga, plays a waste. Yeah, it looks like our opponent's just gonna try to make constructs, which makes sense. Opponent passes. More trash for treasures. Take up the Saga. Maybe we just also make constructs? Play the land on red, pass the turn. I think we also have to make constructs, although we can't attack here, I think. Yeah, if our opponent wants to trade with a construct, we will accept that. So opponent makes a 2-2. Two -two. Well, that's one construct down. Opponent's gonna eat the mutt. Yup, yup, yup. I mean, we can get, I guess, Pithing Needle. That might be, that might be the plan. Pithing Needle the Relic. There goes the Urza Saga. Ooh, opponent's not making a construct. Interesting. Instead, they're just gonna float a mana. So they must be wanting to get down a Thought Knots here or something. Thought Knot on Pyromancer is kind of obnoxious here. Ah, I see, so opponent's just gonna try to find their mana. That also makes sense. Gets a tower, plays the tower. Creeping towards Tron. One, two, make a construct. Untap, see what we draw. We draw land. Do we even want a construct or are we better off trying to season Pyromancer? Well, we're definitely floating a mana. Saga goes away. Take a Pithing Needle. Name Relic of Progenitus. Engineer. Take the portal to Phyrexia. Synthesizer. Would be nice to hit a land here. Eh, okay, Ragavan actually works. Play the land. We can play the Ragavan. Get in for three. And we'll see what our opponent has. Graveyard hate shut down. Portal ready to go in the graveyard. Double trash for treasure in hand. Dismembering something by the looks. Dismembers a construct. Do they have Tron? That's the real question. Opponent. Urza Saga. Okay, not Tron. We will accept that. How about a Thought Not Seer? We actually would like a Thought Not Seer now. Karn the Great Creator. Going to turn on the Relic for a turn. Opponent passes. Play Urza Saga. Trash for treasure. Well, actually, I guess we shouldn't have played that, should we? Yeah, that was a little mistake. Portal to Phyrexia. Sack the Synthesizer. All right, it didn't matter. We did Pyromancer anyway. Get rid of the Relic. Go to combat. Hit everything at Karn. And pass the turn. Awkwardly, we have no creatures in the graveyard at the moment. Saga ticking up. So we can tutor with Karn. Ticks down. What whammies do they have? Clock is actually going to be a concern here. This has ended up being an incredibly long match. Tormod's Crypt. All right, so it gets more graveyard hate. Plays the Tormod's Crypt. 
plays a matter reshaper, cracks a Tormod script for no especially discernible reason. Oh my god, we draw Blood Moon. Urza Saga triggers. We go to combat everything at Karn. Karn dies. We will run out a Blood Moon. Pass the turn. Oh, about it on taps. Can we close it out before the time runs out? We're both under three minutes. What a what a match. Hey, it's okay, bub. It's okay. Another card. It just keeps happening. Okay, ticks up the card. About it passes. Well, get back goblin engineer. Tutor up a Graz. Play a season pyromancer. Discard. Discard. Pass the turn. Opponent is untapping with active Karn. Takes down Karn. I mean, they can't have too much more graveyard hate. I wouldn't think. Ensnaring bridge. Oh no. Well, get a Frexing Dragon engine. I'm not sure we can win now. Discard our hand, draw some cards. Will there an Epicure ping ya? Play a land. Season Pyromancer. Draw some cards. Yeah, I mean, we just have to pass. Oh no! We can't be an ensnaring bridge. We can't be an ensnaring bridge. Pound it. Expedition map. Yeah, we're gonna time out. Okay, so we gotta just fully play the time game, I guess. Unfortunately. Pound it. Expedition map. Passes. Oh, eats our blood token with card. Oh, portal. Get back Graz. I mean, we're not gonna win the time game anyway. Oh no, this bridge. We need green mana, and because we blood mooned, we can't make green mana, so I don't believe there's a way that we can win from here. We can look at our deck, but I believe there's just no... Yeah, there's no way. We just can't make the green mana, so we're gonna lose to our blood moon. Brutal. Is there something I'm missing? I mean, we are not gonna be able to win within time anyway. Yeah. Wow. So I will say, I got I got some criticism of this deck. I think the mana base, I don't know if it's a budget choice or someone that was trying to build with what they had from standard, but if you're gonna play a Blood Moon deck, I I don't know. I think fetch lands to get basic lands is uh, is kind of necessary. Not a big fan of the, the Pathway Blood Moon sideboard plan, because as you can see here, the way we win this game is by uh, getting a Haywire Might, reanimating the Haywire Might, and blowing up the Ensnaring Bridge. The problem is, we don't have green mana and we don't have a way to ever make green mana. So we're essentially just locked out of doing this. I think a, a mana base that could fetch up a basic forest would probably be better than this play a bunch of pathways in case I somehow want double white for my double white for my sideboard ley line as sanctity plan. What a, I mean, that was a very interesting match. That was an hour long match. I don't know if this makes me more or less impressed with the deck, honestly. I will say I think the mana base, like the mana base is why we lost here with a with a better mana base I think we would have won I'm sure maybe there were also like things we could have done differently to try to play around the ensnaring bridge I guess I mean we made a bunch of juggernauts but apparently juggernauts can't make it over the bridge <laughs> much move about nothing time one more chance to see if we can oh this hand this hand's pretty good one more chance to see if we can uh, juggernaut our way trash for juggernauts <laughs> can we finish with a winning record my god have we played re ridiculously long close games with this deck like ridiculously i think we've had two hour long matches which is absurd awkwardly we have to play experimental synthesizer here oh there goes our frexian dragon engine we have to play it because we actually have the the nut draw curve where we can turn two engineer turn three trash for treasure so we just need to get the synthesizer on the battlefield to have an artifact to sack we'll see what our opponent's doing we're gonna have to choose between graz and portal most most likely. I guess it'll depend on how likely it is our opponent can kill Graz. Assuming nothing goes horribly wrong. Counters, thought seizes, oh, steam vents, okay. Opponent passes. Well, we draw a Graz. Well, play a land and run out a goblin engineer. No spell snares, please. All right, resolves. Considering we have Graz and Sundering Titan in hand, seems like a portal to Phyrexia to me past the turn. Hopefully our opponent taps out for like a Ledger Shredder. That would be the best. Interesting. Living End. Oh, so Force of Negation. Force of Negation is a thing. I mean, we got to go for it, but opponent cycles. 
Cycles. Actually, you know what would be better is just trying Season Pyromancer and being able to discover. Oh my god, we did. Okay, that's interesting. That changes things. Season Pyromancer. Yeah, that's <laughs> that is an incredibly good draw here because now we actually get to discard a couple big threats, and this makes it so if our opponent does Living End, we are actually getting things back too undid most of our opponent's work here, I think. No Graveyard Hate in the main, so it's not like we can get Graveyard Hate with this Urza Saga, but this might make it so our opponent can't Living End. Like, do they win if they Living End? Oddly, we are making our Sundering Titan smaller with the Grass. The only creature in our deck that Grass actually shrigs about at Misty Rainforest. Passes. We draw even more trash for treasures. Take up the saga. Go to combat. Gonna take the beats. Yeah, I think we just pass. Opponent cycles. I mean, our opponent can't wait forever either. If they wait too long, they're just going to die to our board. So I think next turn they have to do something. Yeah, sure. I mean, we have so many we have so many trash for treasures in hand. This actually doesn't beat us. Actually, maybe this maybe this won't work. So our opponent living ends. We have to we blow up all their mana, but we have to attack. Yeah, here goes shardless agent. Wow, this is going to be wild. Things happen. Opponent loses their entire mana base. Uh, so Sundering Titan says you and you and you get destroyed. All right, so opponent's got no lands, but can we beat their board? Griefs us. Takes another trash for treasure. Remember too, they could definitely have force of negation. Hilariously, we might have to sack the Graz. That's so awkward, but make a construct. Passes. We draw land. Oh, this game is, like, once again, this is going to be a ridiculous game. Flow to mana, Urza Saga does its thing. Shadow Sphere. Do we need to sack the Graz? Probably. Otherwise we attack. We have to attack with everything. So this is gonna die. So everything's gonna die. So this trades with this. This Stride Blue Vinder eats Sundering Titan. We can equip Shadow Sphere. Opponent blocks it a bunch, but then our stuff's gonna die. If we kill the Graz, if Trash for Treasure resolves, things are good. If it doesn't, then at least we have a big Sundering Titan. Yeah, I think we do it. One, two. So trash for treasure, portal to Phyrexia, sack the cross. Do you have a force? They do. That's not good for us. Play the land, play Voldaren Epicure, and pass the turn. No lands, no problem. Free spells rule the day. We don't have many trash for treasures left either. Opponent took, that's our, that's our third one, the double grief. On the other hand, our opponent can't hit us for that much, and they're at seven. Gets in with the flyer, sure. And we have the shadow sphere. So we dropped to 16 temporarily, opponent passes. Copper line, Georg. So, one, two. Shadow Sphere. Yeah, Shadow Sphere on the Construct. Go to combat attack. We gotta start eating through the board. Opponent blocks. Sure, so we kill a Street Wraith. Gain some life. Play Copper Line Gorge past the turn. Back up to 22 for now. Opponent finds a forest. We have played the weirdest games with this deck, I swear. These are some of the weirdest games we've played in a long time. Down to 18. That would have been good if Graz was still around, but it's not. Play Senka. The problem is if we attack with this, our opponent's just gonna kill it, right? They block, block, kill it. We gain eight, they lose a river winder. I think we have to pass for now. Gets in with the flyer. Down to 14. Make some tokens with Season Pyromancer. Untap, draw, Graz. How do we get it into play though? Sack Synthesizer. Make a 2-2. Draw Ragavan. Past the turn. Next turn, we are going to have to start attacking with something because we're going to need the life gain. A grief. Well, I mean, I guess we should discard the Graz, right? Actually, no, we'll, we mean let it go. Grief takes the Graz. Opponent goes to combat. Down to 10 temporarily. Urza Saga. Well, as far as lands go, that's a pretty good one. Equip the Shadow Sphere. Go attacking. We are going to lose our Sundering Titan, unfortunately. All right, so we kill a Shardless Agent, we kill a Wit River Winder, we go back to 18, we blow up our opponent's one land. Opponent's doing some work with <laughs> no lands. Yes, blow up the forest. Urza Saga might be the card that saves us here. Urza Saga, because that can make more big creatures. Two, 
Ragavan past the turn. What a weird game, opponent. Sunken Ruins, Colorless Land, gets in with the Flyer. Sure, down to 14, we untap. Den of the Bugbear. Well, take a Burza Saga. Oh, we can't really attack, can we? Play Den of the Bugbear. Pass the turn, untaps. So I think our plan is try to make double constructs and give them Shadow Sphere, Lifelink, Trample, and go that way. Pona gets in with a flyer. This might be the turn. Finally, Pona hits us to 10. Make a construct. Make a construct. Urza Saga triggers. Underworld Cookbook. Shadow Sphere to the Construct. Go attacking. And this should finally do it. Opponent blocks. Kill the Riverwinder. An opponent doesn't have enough mana to living end again, thankfully. Goblin Engineer. Synthesizer past the turn. Oh, the grind. Opponent adapts. But it should be too little too late, I think. We should be able to just alpha strike here, right? Opponent's only got three blockers. Opponent cracks down to six. We do need to win before there's another living end, that's for sure. Scoops, this deck, I swear, this deck. Soul Guide Lantern in. Soul Guide Lantern in. Haywire might out. Shadow Spear is good. Pirate Spell Bomb isn't great. We can probably get on Pirate Spell Bomb. Fury seem pretty good because we can pitch them just to get stuff in the graveyard. Anything that can get cards in the graveyard is pretty good. I don't think we're gonna bring in Blood Moon. Let's go down, yeah, we don't have much graveyard hate. Let's go down a synthesizer. You know what, two synthesizers, we're not like that. On King 2 against Living End in the weirdest match of all time. Well, for anyone who thinks that Modern is just a format full of super fast wins, this league is going to disprove that thinking. Yes, that does happen on occasion. There's certainly fast combo decks and turn two hammer kills or whatever, but this has been the, just the longest, grindiest, most ridiculous juggernaut league of magic that I have ever played. I can't believe we had to sack our own Graz, so we didn't have have to be forced to attack into our opponent's living end board. Like everything about this is just absurd. The problem we might have now is endurance. Our plan of filling our own graveyard to benefit from our opponent's living ends gonna be a little bit harder now because I would expect our opponent would have endurance in their deck. I mean, we're gonna keep this. We can get a something in the graveyard with a goblin engineer. Hopefully we draw action. Eh, Season Pyromancer's fine. Den of the Bugbear. Opponent gonna start the cycling. Curator of Mysteries. I think if we're on the play, getting down Urza Saga on turn one is probably worth it. On the draw, I don't think it matters as much. Spire Bluff Canal. Passing. Urza Saga. Goblin Engineer. To get a Sundering Titan in the graveyard. Pass the turn. We could pitch Season Pyromancer just to cast the Fury to get in the graveyard, but I don't think we're going to. Sorry, Riverwinder. Let's see if our opponent can do it. Misty Rainforest. Opponent going to pass. I'll take up the Saga. I'll play Copperline Gorge. Run out. I think we got a Season Pyromancer. We're gonna let this construct go to a Season Pyromancer. Uh, discard a land, discard a, do we discard the fury? I'm so worried about endurance. Like this is a turn that's gonna happen because our opponent's gonna expect that we can get graveyard hate off this Urza saga. Yeah, I think we do discard it. Discard, discard. So our opponent needs endurance into Cascade Spell and then they, they probably have it. Just one I don't think is enough though. That's a forest. Oh, well. Yeah, this is what we were worried about. So there is the endurance. And now they can living end and we can't do anything to stop it. I mean, maybe, maybe they don't have it. Maybe there's no cascade spell. Maybe there's no cascade. There's always cascade, but we can hope. Misty Rainforest, opponent cracks it. Come on, Magic God. Like if they don't have it, this Urza Saga saves us. Opponent cycles. Well, this played out exactly like we were worried about. Goes attacking. We don't actually want the Endurance to die. Yeah, let's just do that. Just to get our stuff in the graveyard in case there's a living end. Now they are going to living end. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we knew that was a possibility. I think this means we die. Graz and yeah, there's no no coming back from this point. All right, good news is, good news is, we get to be on the play for game number three, which is a pretty huge deal. Oh, we could even bring in the Blood Moons. Up two Blood Moons, down one Graz, Scrap Work Mutt. 
All right, game three, we're on the play. Come on back, show us our one graveyard hate spell. Wow, this hand, double saga. I mean, double saga can get graveyard hate, but we have no functional mana. I guess we can mutt to try to hit another land, but we're just gonna sack our entire mana base. If we had one land, this hand would be, one non-saga land, this hand would be really good. All right, well, this will try. Trash for treasure to the bottom. The stupid monkey. I mean, one of the downsides of being a Cascade deck is our opponent's not gonna be throwing a blocker on the battlefield on turn two, I don't think. Straight Ray cycled, or turn one rather. Oh no, Straight Ray cycled, and a Scalding Tarn, and opponent passes. Well, go to combat, get in with the monkey. Make a treasure. Steal probably something we don't care about. Striped River Winder. Okay, Urza Saga. Scrap work mutt to discard the portal to Phyrexia and pass the turn. I mean, we can try to reanimate portal, although we've already seen force negation get us. Sunken ruins, passing. We draw goblin engineer, opponent takes the beats. Okay, Waker of Waves, sure. So they are taking the beats, but they get a card. They mill a shardless agent. Drops to nine. We get a treasure. Land gets exiled. Goblin Engineer. I mean, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put our opponent to the to the test of needing to have multiple things. Needing to have the Cascade spell, which they probably do, but also have an Endurance. Sundering Titan. Play the land. Voldir and Epicure. And pass the turn. Do they have it? They need Endurance and, a, and the Cascade spell, and they need to do it before the Urza Saga goes off. I guess no endurance in force of negation. Okay, wow. So there's the endurance. Pitching a force of vigor. There goes our graveyard. Oh no. Oh, opponent, the full trilogy. And there goes our graveyard again. Yeah, that's, that is deadly. Passes, we draw. But this looks like game to me. I mean, a construct doesn't really do anything. We force our opponent to have like the three card combo twice in a row and they had the three card combo twice in a row. Not a ton we can do about that, unfortunately. Get a shadow sphere. Why is this a four five? I'm so confused. Oh, this is giving stuff negative one, negative oh. So seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yeah, I think we're just dead. Playing the land past the turn. Wow, well, we're gonna finish with a two three, unfortunately, but <laughs> I mean, the deck did interesting things for sure. And wow, were there some interesting games. That much is definitely for sure. Oh, they also have, okay, another Waker Waves. This feels like the deck is really funny and it does some powerful, some powerful things. Definitely feels like a, a work in progress to me. I feel like there's enough power that something's here. Although I think like the mana base could use some tweaking. Is Graz actually good enough to matter? I think that's another another interesting question that we don't really know the answer to. More graveyard hate might be uh, might be worthwhile. I think there's a there's an argument to maybe playing a little more graveyard hate. Well, we'll talk about it in the wrap up. It's almost wrap, boy, wrap up of the longest league we've ever played. Opponent goes attacking. We will kill a street wraith. We drop to three, which means we're dead next turn. We untap. Phyrexian Dragon Engine. Is there any way out? So we can go up to what, four? We can gain five up to eight. Block here, die. Phyrexian Dragon Engine, block here, die. The problem is this, all of this shrinks our construct to discard the Dragon Engine. Draw a card. Now play the pathway. Yeah, we're just spinning our wheels here. I'm kind of at a loss for words. That was, so we finished with a two, three, which considering what we're playing and the matchups and just the weirdness of every Thing about <laughs> these five matches, we'll take it. It would have been nice to get one more win and get a three two. Uh, so what do we learn about the the deck? We learn that it plays really long matches apparently, which is kind of a surprise. I thought this was going to be a more of an aggro win the game style reanimator deck. Not really. Instead, we played a bunch of just like really grindy long hour long matches. Easily could have won like at least two more matches. Easily could have lost at least one more match. The first like hour long match we played, uh, that Karn Indian Snaring Bridge game. That's the one that hurts the most. So I will say, here's my here's my feedback on the deck. It's hilarious. Although honestly, and it hurts my soul to say this, but I'm not actually sure Graz is that good in the deck. 
We saw like, so the, the, uh, the dream of Graz is really strong and Graz is a pretty interesting, hey baby, a pretty interesting secondary reanimation target. Like we reanimate portal and then at the right time we get back Graz and Graz closes out the game. In that context, it's very good. But we saw just the like fast reanimation of Graz actually be, actually be kind of, uh, actually be kind of questionable. Like that was sometimes just not good enough and other times actively bad. Like we actually at one point had to sack our Graz so we didn't have to chump attack with our team, which was very, very awkward. So that part of it's a, a little bit strange. I love the idea of the deck and I love what we're doing, trying to like flood the board and Graz and win with these juggernauts. It's hilarious. And like, oh, that's what made me want to play the deck. But from a competitive perspective, would be better off just getting more portals or more Sundering Titans? Maybe. I think for this build of the deck, my biggest criticism, I think is the mana base. Like I said, I don't know if this is a budget choice. We got ourselves with Blood Moon. Our, our loss to the Tron deck actually came because we Blood Mooned ourselves, and then we couldn't make any green mana to cast an artifact destruction spell to get rid of Ensnaring Bridge. So I wonder if this deck would be better served with a, a fetch land, shock land style mana base where we could fetch out some basics in case we do bring in Blood Moon. Although at the same time, I guess Blood Moon is just a two of in the sideboard. And there is some upsides to this build with uh, Sundering Titan in specific. We're not blowing up our own lands hardly at all with uh, with the Sundering Titan. So I don't know. I don't know what to say about this deck overall. I think the deck has a lot of potential. To me, it feels like an early build and we got to see it do some really good things. We got to be, see it do some bad things, but it felt competitive overall. It did not feel like we were just you know, overwhelmed by the power of modern and our deck didn't have a chance to like keep up with all the really strong decks in the format. So I feel like there's there's something here that's worth uh, worth building around and worth working on because the idea is funny. It's actually like fairly competitive and with some more tuning, I don't know, maybe it could end up in a in an actual place. I will say the biggest takeaway though for me, regardless of whether Graz is the right target or whatever, uh, Trash for Treasure actually felt pretty legitimate. The flexibility of getting creatures and non-creatures is nice. And we've just gotten so much more support for it recently. Where like three years ago, it was really difficult to build a good Trash for Treasure deck. But now we have artifacts that are looting, like Scrap Work, Voldir and Epicure makes an artifact and can be a looting effect. So we have all these pieces, the Underworld Cookbook, uh, the Goblin Engineer. So there's so many pieces. So I would not be surprised if Trash for Treasure is a bit of a sleeper that deserves to be looked at a little bit more. Maybe it's mono red. Maybe it's not mono red. Maybe it's combined with other reanimation. Maybe it's Graz. Maybe it's something else. But Trash for Treasure itself was actually very impressive in the deck. So I think that at a minimum deserves uh, deserves more of a look in modern. So uh, anyway, that is Trash for Juggernauts. <laughs> That's some Graz action in modern. That's our bunch of room for this week. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will talk to you soon.